Hello, this is Fredo, and you're watching the fifth episode of Santa Filomena on City Skylines. Lots of things happened uh, in this episode. I have to say, I had to rewatch a few parts of it because I've actually recorded this over a week ago and I really need to start recording the audio commentaries way closer to the gameplays because I start to forget uh, what I did uh, but yeah as you can see already on the screen uh, I got a few DLCs uh, I got natural disasters mass transit and nightlife in this episode I'm uh, mainly focusing on moving uh, the industrial zone from Palisandra to uh, the violin and at the same time I bought a fifth tile uh, which is gonna be uh, mainly a rural uh, tile because there's simply just one road going through uh, the valley and then um, changing the motorway, the highway a bit to make a different, uh, a, uh, a new entrance to the city, let's say. You're gonna see that later on. And you can see me as well uh, starting to use a few things from uh, the new DLCs I got. The annoying thing with natural disasters is that, well, although I love the fact, I like the fact that some disasters can randomly happen thanks to this DLC. The problem is that it makes the occurrence of big fire much more important than it would normally be, which is really annoying because in, in this episode alone, for example, that's uh, one hour of gameplay that you're watching being speeded up. Um, there, there's been more than three three big fires and that kind of sucks because it's way too much especially for a city this size it, and it doesn't make it doesn't make it like natural <laughs> no pun intended because you know th there's a few things like this that are kind of off in this game uh, it's a bit the same for uh, the, the the number of inhabitants as well. There's actually in the workshop a few um, mods that can uh, help your city have a more realistic number of people for the the size or the looks it has. And it's it's true that uh, apart from the fact that you already have this like detail that kind of seem seems off then uh, you you have the natural disasters as well and all the, the fires that are triggered because of it and it's annoying because for something that you've paid uh, I, I almost feel like I should disable it somehow and then just just randomly mm, cause the disasters myself because obviously this DLC allows you to do this but it's sad because I would rather have the game randomly just throwing them at me instead of having it having to do it to do it myself. And the thing is, um, f fires with such a high occurrence is is quite annoying. You, you don't want your your town to be like destroyed so often by such a stupid natural disaster, actually. Because it is very far from being obviously the most spectacular one, and the 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 worst ones are kind of more exciting to see and to play with, I guess. So now that I've bought uh, the fifth tile for the city, you see me developing uh, the Concordia uh, quarter. So it's going to be many more. Uh, residential zones in this area leading up to um, the river. I'm also building a bridge that will then lead to the road that will go through the valley and it will be a way for the inhabitants to 
go and do a proper hike in the mountains uh, because it's the first time that I'm actually gonna um, build a pathway to go up uh, the top of a mountain I also rise on the occasion of developing this quarter of the city to uh, actually create then afterwards you will see that a, a new entrance or uh, a new way to get into the city uh, which is uh, by the, the highway over there. Um, I've uh, also learned uh, like Re reminded how to make uh, parking lots as well because I, I learned it at some point like about a year ago and then forgot so I, I quickly had to check a tutorial on YouTube to do it Uh, yeah, these were the main um, focuses, let's say, of this episode. I think I'll let you now enjoy the rest of the episode. If you like this series, don't forget to like and subscribe for notifications about the future episodes. And uh, see you very soon for a sixth episode of